Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry that there wasn't a lesson yesterday. I was feeling really sick. Um, I still feel kind of sick. I'm pretty tired, but I wanted to get this lesson out for you guys this week. So here I am. We are live. Okay, so sorry about the time and sorry um, about the no preparation beforehand. Hello. Hi, thank you guys so much for joining. I'm so sorry there was no lesson yesterday. I've been really sick. It's been pretty bad. You can see I have circles under my eyes because I haven't slept. How are you guys? I hope you guys are all healthy and doing well. Please take care of yourselves, especially now. Hello, Claudia. Hi, I'm again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hello from Bangladesh. Hello, Ma. Mahmoud, hello, Kai. Is your name Kiai? Kai? Kiai? Hello, Miyogi. Hello, hello. Hi. So um, I was just saying that I've been sick this week. So um, I probably look a little bit rough today. So sorry about that. Hello from Afghanistan. Hello from Mexico. Awesome. Okay, so um, I'm not sure if I can pronounce your name. Ki Pu Ki Pu Keen. It's really hard. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. Today is a highly requested lesson. Lots of students wanted to learn. Um, this one. Hello from Kurdistan. Oh, thank you. I'm feeling a little better today. Oops. Okay. So, no, I don't want that marker. I want this one. Okay. So today we are going to learn passive versus active voice. Okay. The passive versus the active voice. Oh, hello from Pakistan. Hello from Bangladesh. Okay, so passive versus active voice. Oh, thank you, Anna, you're so kind. Okay, so a lot of students wanted to know the difference between these two, passive and active. So we're going to get into that. So don't worry, um, today is not going to be the only lesson on the passive voice. We're gonna do it um, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, okay? So all week this week, we're gonna be focusing on passive versus active voice. And I hope that will help you to better understand how to use it, okay? So I'm gonna give you some um, tips and tricks to sound a little bit more natural too. Okay, so passive versus active voice. So in this lesson, we're going to look at the steps we need to take to change an active voice to a passive voice. But first, I want to tell you um, when we use the active voice and when we use the passive voice. So I think that's um, a big problem for some students. It's really confusing. So the active voice is when um, the person doing the action is the most important in the sentence, okay? So if I said, I drank coffee, the subject is myself, right? So I am the most important or the most interesting part of that sentence. Coffee is not the main part, okay? I'm talking about my action. Or if I said, um, the boy kicked the ball. I'm mostly focusing on the boy and I'm talking about the boy's action. So that is active voice. If we're talking about passive voice, the person doing the action is either unknown, not important, or um, we don't want to say, okay? So um, for example, the boy kicked the ball. That is the active voice. But 
if we if we imagine a scenario where the boy kicked the ball and it broke, it broke a window, right? Maybe I don't want to tell who broke the window. Maybe I'm friends with the boy and I don't want to tell. I could just say the window was broken. Or um, if we don't know who did it, the window was broken. And then we could we could include by someone. The window was broken by someone. Or we can just take off the last part altogether. The window was broken. Okay. Oh, thank you for all the questions about my health. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm feeling a little bit better. My fever is down. So um, I wanted to get this lesson out for you guys. Hello from Indonesia. So do you guys understand the difference when to use these? So active voice, the, the person doing the action is the most important. So it comes first. It'll be our subject. In the passive, um, what usually would be the object of an active voice sentence is going to become our subject. And that is going to be the most important thing. The person doing the action is not going to be the most important thing. OK. All right. So um, if you don't have any questions yet, we're going to move on to um, the steps we need to take to change an active sentence to a passive sentence. OK, so I have them written down. And I need your help for the exercises. OK, Ooh, can you see that? I shouldn't have used the green marker. OK, so first step, I'll read it out so you guys can hear. Take the object of the active sentence and make it the subject of the passive sentence. OK, so the subject of or sorry, the object of your active sentence will become the subject of the passive sentence. OK. All right, very good. So we will do the exercises down here later, OK? Number two, use the verb to be. This is important. Use the verb to be in the same tense as the verb in the active sentence. OK, so if I said, I did my homework, our verb is did and it is in the past tense. So I need to use the verb to be in the past. So what is past of to be? We would say was. So instead of I did my homework, it would change to my homework was done okay we would use was so remember the to be it has to be the same tense as the active sentence okay and number three can you see this use the past participle of the main verb in active sentence okay so if i said my home oh, sorry i did my homework so uh, the past participle of did is done okay so my homework was done okay i don't know by who or um it's not important who did it okay all right so let's get into the exercises do you have any questions on these steps is it okay Okay, it looks like, oh, some people are already doing the exercises, so that's great. You can jump into the exercises. Oh, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my marker. Whew. Okay, so number one, a thief stole my phone. A thief stole my phone. So if we're gonna change this to a passive sentence, we need to find our object, right? Where is our object? So our object is going to be my phone, right? So we're going to put my phone. Ooh, my terrible handwriting. My phone. And then step two, we need to use the verb to be 
in the same tense as the verb in the act active sentence. So stole is past tense. Oh, I see a lot of correct answers. Very good. So my phone, yes, was. And we need the past participle of stole. So that is going to be correct. Stolen. So in the passive sentence, the person doing the action is not important or we don't know who that is or we don't want to say, right? So we could leave the sentence like this. My phone was stolen. My phone was stolen. We could put like by a thief or by someone but it is not necessary. We don't need to include this part. My phone was stolen. So if you came back and your phone was gone, oh, my phone was stolen. I don't know who stole it, but my phone was stolen, right? Okay. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, so number two, let's jump to number two. Awesome. Charlie ate the whole cake. And by the way, Charlie is my younger brother's name. Don't tell him I used his name. Charlie ate the whole cake. So what if we don't know that it was Charlie? Or we don't want to say it was Charlie. Or we want to emphasize the whole cake, right? We want to talk about the whole cake. So how would you guys do number two? Oh, very good, Claudia. Oh, Gonzalo, very good for the other one. Very good, Nana. Wow, everybody is so good. Awesome. So we are gonna change this sentence to, so the whole cake is our object, right? The whole cake. So the whole cake was eaten. So we could just leave it like that. If we don't want to say who ate the cake or we don't know who ate the cake, we, said, we could say the whole cake was eaten. I came home and oh my gosh, the whole cake was eaten, it's gone, okay? Or if you wanna put by Charlie or by someone, you could hear by Charlie. My little brother, he would eat the whole cake too. Okay, is that understandable? And let's look at number three, the last one. The teacher read the book to the class. So this one might be a little bit tricky. The teacher read the, oh sorry, the teacher read the book to the class. The teacher read the book to the class. So maybe the teacher is not important in our sentence, right? So how can we change this to passive? Can anybody write it in the comments? Oh, very good, Anna, yes. Oh, very good, yes. Um, Very close, very close. Very good, Claudia, yes. Okay, awesome job. I see a lot of correct answers. So we could say, so our object is the book, right? The book. The book was, because this read is in past tense, it's hard to see. The book was read. Read is the past participle of read, read. The book was read to the class. And if you want to include by the teacher, that is okay, but we often uh, exclude it. So it's not necessary to write it there, okay? The teacher read the book to the class. The book was read to the class. So maybe the book is the most important part of this. The book was read to the class, okay? Awesome, very good, you guys did such a good job. I'm so sorry about my handwriting. Here it is one more time if you need to see it. Okay, very good. Awesome, so if you have any questions about the passive voice, please leave them in the comments because 
Um, I'm going to continue this lesson this week. We'll do um, more examples. You'll have more time to participate and um, I'll teach you some tricks, okay, to sound a little bit more like native sounding, okay? Very good. So please, if you have any questions about the passive voice or the active voice, write them in the comments, okay? You guys did such a good job. So um, that's it for the, this lesson. Um, but I'm going to go onto my YouTube channel and I'm going to do a live lesson over there today, right after this. So um, maybe in about 10 or 15 minutes. So we're gonna go over to the YouTube channel and we're gonna talk about um, uh, acronyms in business, okay? Oh, thank you, Anna, you're so sweet. I'm gonna drink lots of ginger tea. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so um, if you wanna go over to the YouTube channel, there'll be a new lesson, live lesson in about 10 or 15 minutes. I gotta just prepare some things and we're gonna be talking about business English, okay. So thank you so much. I hope to see you guys over on the YouTube channel. Thank you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, or on YouTube, bye.